Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to edit this image from looking like this to this using Retouch Pro Photoshop panel. Hello guys, I'm Omar Ortiz. I'm a freelance portrait photographer and in this video, I will show you how to edit portraits using the Retouch Pro panel. Please follow me on my YouTube channel and Instagram. I will post the links down in the video description. So before I continue, let me give you a brief background of this panel. Retouch Pro was designed and developed by an Italian company called Nextus SRL. And they were also the people behind the Beautify panel, which I talked about on my previous videos. Retouch Pro is under the same company but was developed by a different set of developers and photographers. There are many key differences between Retouch Pro and Beautify, but we can talk about that on another video. But the bottom line is that they're saying that Retouch Pro is an improved or should I say a better version of Beautify panel. I'm not saying that Beautify Panel is not a good product, because they are similar in many ways. It would really depend on the person on how he uses these tools for his workflow. I keep saying that these panels are just here to help us, but it is still entirely up to us on how we can effectively use them. If you're interested in purchasing this Photoshop panel, use my link down in the video description and you will get a 5% discount. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started. So, just a quick disclaimer, what I'm about to show you is my personal editing workflow. You don't have to do the exact same thing that I do, because we all have our own techniques in photo editing. Just feel free to do whatever is convenient for you. So, first things first, duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then select the healing brush tool, and we start removing the dark spots and hair strands that are in the way. Always take your time when doing this process, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will go ahead and speed this up. Okay, so we're done cleaning up the face. Now we can open the Retouch Pro panel, and for today's video, let's use the Easy function. Then we select the white brush icon right here below. Then we start painting on the face. Again, be accurate and precise when brushing and do not paint over the edges such as the jawline and the smile lines. And as for the shadow areas, I usually bring down the opacity of the white brush between 50 to 60%. Then I increase the brush size and just do one brush stroke on that area. Let me just do a few more touch-ups right here. Okay, so we're basically done smoothing out the face using the easy function in Retouch Pro. Let's zoom in. This is the before. This is after. What do you think? Not bad, right? If the effect is too strong, you can always bring down the opacity right here. Let's set it to around 70%. Okay, that looks better. Let's zoom in again. Before, after. I'm liking this. Now let's click the texture function and bring back some details to the skin. And again, we click on the white brush. Then start painting on the skin. So again, be careful and precise when brushing. Do not paint on the eyebrows, eyes, nose, and lips. The skin looks weird right now, but we will fix it later so don't worry about it. In case you make a mistake or you brush on the wrong area like this, just change the brush color to black right here, then paint over that area to remove it. You can also press the letter X on the keyboard to toggle between the black and white brush. Okay, so we're done adding texture to the skin. And obviously, the effect is too much. So we dial down the opacity to about 50%. It is still too strong. Let's try 25%. Still too obvious. How about 15%? Okay, that looks better. This is the before, after. Let's zoom in. 
before, after. Did you notice the difference? I still think it's too strong, so let's change the opacity to 10%. Okay, now that looks more natural. We can always change the size of the skin texture by double-clicking the filter gallery right here. I think it's way too big, so I will make it 50% smaller. It's currently at 182, so 90 should be good. So this is the before, after. Okay, now I'm happy with this. Okay, now let's try to retouch the eyes. For me, the brightness and contrast of the iris already looks good, so I won't touch that. Instead, let's select whiten to brighten up the white part of the eyes. And again, we select the white brush. And start brushing on the white part of the eyes. It's okay if you make a mistake. Just change the brush color to black and paint over. Okay, so this is the before, after. Let's decrease the opacity to about 40%. Okay, that's perfect. Let's click the final touch function to sharpen the eyes. This will give life to the eyes and make it stand out. So again, we choose the white brush and paint over the entire eyes, including the eyelashes. Before, after. You can see the difference, right? The sharpening effect is too strong for me, so I will bring it down to about 50%. Let's zoom in. Now I'm satisfied with this. Now the last thing that I want to do here is add color to her lips. So we go to the lip section and click add lipstick. Let's click on the white brush, select the negative mask, select this color, then hide this black color on top. Then we can start painting on the lips. Okay, that should do it. Before, after. Let's just decrease the opacity to about 75%. And let's pick another color. Okay, I think this toasted color is perfect. Let me just paint on the lips a little bit more. So this is without lipstick, with lipstick. What do you think? Let me just group all the effects together and I'll show you the overall changes. Select all the layers, then press Ctrl G. This is the before, and this is after. Before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after. How's my edit? Was it good or bad? I want to hear your thoughts, so comment down below and let's talk. So, this is how I edit using the Retouch Pro panel. I hope this tutorial has helped you on how to use these functions. Stay tuned for more Retouch Pro videos as I will be going over the other functions in the following weeks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more photo editing tutorials like this, and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!